Many of you have been asking, how can a massless ender chest both fall and activate a pressure plate? After thinking about it for a while, I came up with a refinement to my original theory. The mechanism can still be thought of in terms of the manometer, but the key here is the eye of ender makes the mass of all the contents of an ender chest zero kilograms. This solves all our paradoxes shown in the video, but still gives the ender chest itself some intrinsic mass. For example, what happens when we put an ender chest inside another ender chest? Well, first let's name them. We'll have two ender chests, A and B. Now we're going to put A into B. The eye of ender inside ender chest B will activate, making the contents of the ender chest massless. So now to all observers, the ender chest B is empty and only Steve himself believes there are items inside. So what of ender chest A? Well, ender chest A is massless because it's been made massless by the eye of ender of ender chest B. But what of its contents? Well, the mass of ender chest A's contents are the same as the mass of ender chest B's contents. Since the contents of ender chest B have zero kilograms of mass, then the contents of ender chest A also has zero kilograms of mass, therefore solving the paradox. This may be hard to get your head around at first, but after thinking through it a couple of times, it might sink in. So what happens when you throw an ender chest? Well, it falls, because the ender chest itself still has some intrinsic mass. The mass of the ender chest is now the mass of the obsidian plus the mass of the eye of ender, and thus the ender chest falls and it has some weight to trigger the pressure plates as well. That's it for now, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day.